Volunteers look for baby oysters, known as spats. They're measuring the progress of an ambitious project to reintroduce the species into New York's harbor. So this is the oyster shell that I found with the most spats. So it has one, two, three, four, and five. The other ones I found have only had like one or two. So this is really cool. Where are their babies going? DNA tests and the work of these volunteers at the Hudson River Parks Trust reveal that the spats they're finding in New York Harbor actually came from the wild upriver. Matthew Hare is a scientist with Cornell University. So what we're doing here today is uh, by learning whether these spat, they're called, these juvenile oysters, are coming from restoration sites or just from the wild, uh, we're learning what the reproductive capacity is of the restoration sites and where, um, in which cases are we seeing actually some self-sufficiency from the restoration. The city's waters were once teeming with oysters, but by the early 20th century, industrial pollution and overfishing had wiped them out. The Billion Oyster Project began planting juveniles in new habitats at restoration sites around the harbor back in 2018. So guys, let's get the next cabinet out in the water. Hoping to restore the mollusk to its former glory. So far, volunteers have seeded over 100 million oysters here in the waters of New York Harbor with a goal of getting to a billion by 2035. But the oysters aren't reproducing on their own in significant numbers, at least not yet. Oysters serve as a natural water filter with many benefits for the local ecosystem. So they're like this big uh, breadth of a foundation of a pyramid, so to speak, of an, e of an eco ecosystem, and they support a lot of the other organisms in life because they create these reef structures, these complex habitats where these oysters are growing together, much like a coral reef. Meaning that a thriving oyster population would be good news for all New Yorkers. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, New York. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.